you guys hey so i'm trying to do this before my lighting goes i'm about to start my purple wig so just to show you guys today once again i am using the chroma silk vivid colors collection again from pravana and the two cut the colors i am using is i'm using violet for my purple today and I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow that I had from my last video and I'm going to see if I, by mixing that is going to give me the lighter shade of purple that I'm looking for. So all I have right here is a bowl of conditioner and the conditioner I'm using is the Aussie Moist Conditioner. So I already bleached my hair already so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to take very little of the color because I do want the lighter purple to be lavender so that is why I put so much conditioner in the actual bowl. So now that I have that I'm just going to squeeze just a little just that much purple in it for right now and I'm going to start mixing this so I can see the color that it's going to give me. We don't want this to be a dark purple. We want this to be a light, light purple. And as you can see, it's giving me a darker shade of purple and I don't need that dark of a purple. So what I'm going to do is actually start mixing some more of the conditioner in it. What I'm going to do is take half of this out because I'm going to do an ombre. So I'm going to do a lavender and dark purple. So I'm going to scoop half of this out and put this in the bowl for the darker purple that I'm going to be doing on the bottom. And then I'm just going to leave just a little bit of that in the bowl. I might just scoop out a little bit more. Because I don't want it to be that purple on top. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to squirt some more of this conditioner out, a lot more of the conditioner out. And what I want to do, I'm not sure what the color it's going to give me, but I'm actually going to take a little bit of the yellow and squirt a little bit of that in here just to see if it actually lightens the purple and gives me the actual shade of purple that I'm looking for. So this is all about trial and error, experimenting with yourself. Um, I'm not licensed. So I'm just doing this all of off the top of my head of what makes sense and what will work. So now I'm actually getting the shade of purple that I'm looking for. As you guys can see, this really light, beautiful pastel purple compared to the dark purple that I had. I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but one is this one is much lighter and this one's much darker. I'm actually going to open up my yellow real quick. So I ran and grabbed my old yellow. I'm just going to add just a dot of this in here just to see what color it's going to give me. Just like that. I really don't know what color it's going to come out. <laughs> Something just told me to add yellow in it and it's going to change the color of purple. So it did change the color of the purple just a little bit, not a lot. I'm going to add more conditioner in it to further lighten because I really want it to be a light, light pastel. As you guys can see, this beautiful light purple. Then I'm going to go back into this original dark purple that we had and I'm going to apply more of that purple in there because I want the, the tip of my ends to be like a really nice dark eggplant purple. So I'm just mixing it up and you see how dark and rich the color is getting. Now I did go and bleach the hair twice so that I can get a really nice light color because the hair has to almost be white in order to take form of this pastel. So I have this dark purple and the lavender. I'm going to mix a little bit more purple in it because I do want it to be super dark. And I always buy two boxes of color. I never really need it. So 
So I'm just mixing that up, making it real, really nice and dark and rich. I'm losing my lighting here a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. So now I have both colors. All right, you guys, so it took a little bit of finagling, but this is what it looks like so far while the color is on. So I'm probably gonna allow this to sit probably two to three hours just so that the lighter color of lavender really takes to the hair because I wasn't able to lift it as white as possible. So I will come back and show you guys what the finished outcome is. I know, I know. It isn't lavender. I know, I know. God shoot me, I know. So, the whole purpose of this particular unit was for me to do a lavender in dark eggplant purple unit for you guys but for some reason the color did not take lavender because I wasn't able to lift the hair as high as it needed to go to actually really take the lavender color so it ended up being a gray ombre into purple and it was really yucky and I really didn't like it. So I was sitting around brainstorming with my boyfriend's cousin and you know, I have a whole drawer full of colors and she was like, hey, you should, you know, throw some teal on there. And I was like, you know what? I can't just throw any color on top of that. So I just grabbed some blue and I threw it in where the lavender is supposed to be and voila, you guys, I got this. Yes, honey, definitely feeling myself. So, to let you guys know, oh my goodness, I haven't even told you guys what hair I'm wearing. I am wearing the Right Way of Hair, Hair Companies, Virgin Malaysian Hair. I have in, this is a Virgin Malaysian Body Wave, and I am wearing a 22, 20, and 18 inch, and a 14 inch lace frontal. Yes, ladies, I said lace frontal frontal this is my first lace frontal um, unit right here I always get a closure but I always watch time the infamous and I really like how her hair is always able to be off her face with her frontal so I decided to go ahead and do a frontal as well so this is what it looks like absolutely loving it loving it definitely honey so I have all full three bundles in plus the closure and I'm loving the volume that I have with the hair, with the curls, everything is just so nice and full. So specs on the hair, like I said, this is Virgin Malaysian Body Wave um, hair from The Right Way of Hair and I was contacted from them to do a review for you guys and of course whenever I get hair, the best way for me to really tell you guys if this is really good hair or not is by processing this virgin hair. So as you guys can see, it took the color very, very, very well. As you can see, the hair is beautiful. Now I am, I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit dry. Um, I did bleach it twice and I did leave the bleach on for a while. But after me coloring, when I color my units, I mix the color, um, it's like 50-50 color, half color, half conditioner. So by allowing the conditioner to sit on the hair for two hours, it really got a chance to really deep um, condition the hair. And now the hair is just beautiful and soft and voluptuous as you guys see it now. So I just want to turn around and show you guys the actual back and the length of the hair. So this is a side view in the back. And the hair comes right about the top of my butt. I thought it was a very long 22 inches if you ask me. 
So yeah, you guys, I'm absolutely loving it, loving the color. I'm a little bit disappointed because I really did want the lavender, but I'm going to have to work on figuring that out. Like I said, loving the closure. The frontal is just beautiful, absolutely loving it. I love that I'm able to, you know, pull it off my face if need be, if I wanted to. And these colors are just everything honey so I will be doing um, you know different hair tutorials and updates and letting you guys know but I just wanted to share this with you guys and I wanted to thank the right way of hair company for contacting me and allowing me to do a review I will leave their website and information all in the description box below as well as their Instagram and other social networks but as always you guys this is Miss Lisa Fabulous remember to always rate comment subscribe Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com backslash Miss Little Fabulous TV. Facebook, facebook.com backslash Miss Little Fabulous. And remember, you guys have a nice and wonderful day. Bye.